Hello friends, welcome to AS Tutorials. Today we are going to discuss time domain specification of first order system by considering step input. First one, time constant denoted by capital T. It is defined as the time taken by the step response to reach 63% of its final value. You can see here time taken by the step response to reach 63% of its final value and the response C of t is equivalent to 1 minus e power minus a t. We know that C of t is equivalent to 1 minus e power minus a t at t is equal to capital T C of t that is 63 percent of its final value you can see that 63 percent of its final value c of t is equivalent to 0.63 with respect to this above equation now 0.63 is equivalent to 1 minus e power minus 80 where by taking this one to the left hand side we will get 0.63 minus 1 is equivalent to minus e power e power minus 80 by subtracting this we will get minus 0 0.37 is equivalent to minus e power minus 80 this minus and this minus cancel so 0 0.37 is equivalent to e power minus 80 taking log on both the sides we will get log 0 0.37 is equivalent to log of e power minus 80 is nothing but minus 80 log of 0 0.37 is minus 0 0.99 in this this minus and this minus cancelled My, 0.99 is approximately equal to 1 and uh, this a t we have considered same here so therefore t is equivalent to 1 by a time constant is equivalent to 1 by a the reciprocal of time constant is exponential frequency second one rise time denoted by tr it is defined as the time taken by the step response to rise from 10% of final value to 90% of its final value you can you can see the response time taken by the step response to rise from 10% of its final value to 90% of its final value we know that c of t is equivalent to 1 minus e power minus e a t by considering the rise time of 10 percent that is 0.1 c of t1 here i am considering 10 percent here i am considering rise time t1 at 10 percent that is c of t1 is equivalent to 1 minus e power minus a t1 so c of t1 is 10 percent that is 0.1 is equivalent to 1 minus e power minus a t1 by taking this one to the left hand side we will get a 0.1 minus 1 is point minus 0.9 is equivalent to minus e power minus 81 where this minus minus get cancelled by applying log on both the side we will get log 0.9 is equivalent to minus a t1 by taking the log value log of 0.9 we are getting here minus 0.1 is equivalent to minus a t1 minus minus get cancelled by calculating t1 value we are getting 0.1 by a this is the t1 value we got 0.1 by a to calculate t2 that is at 90 percent c of t2 is equivalent to 1 minus e power minus a t2 so at t2 time t2 the percentage is 90 0.9 i have considered here 0.9 is equivalent to 1 minus e power minus a t2 so by taking this one to the left hand side 0 0.9 minus 1 is minus 0 0.1 is equivalent to minus e power minus a t2 as it is this minus and minus get cancelled by taking log on both the side we will get log 0 0.1 is equivalent to minus a t2 so log 0 0.1 value is 2.3 is equivalent to minus 82 this minus and minus get cancelled by this we will get the t2 value that is equivalent to 2.3 by a this is the t2 value that is at 90 percent and this is at 10 percent so rise time you can see here tr is equivalent to t2 minus t1 
that is 2.3 by a minus 0.1 by a we got tr is equal to 2.2 divided by a this is the formula we need to remember for rise time that is 2.2 by a and this is the formula time constant we need to remember to solve some problems uh, that is the time constant t is equal to 1 by a the next is settling time settling time denoted by ts settling time is defined as the time for the step response to reach and stay within 2% of its final value you can see here after passing through certain transient period it fixed to a stable output and that time the stable output time we call it as what settling time and it is denoted by ts and here the tolerance is given by the 2% we know that c of t is equal to 1 minus e power minus a t now here we are calculating the settling time you can see at 2 percent error means at 98 percent so c of t 0.98 is equal to 1 minus e power minus a t s so by taking this one to the left hand side we will get 0.98 minus 1 that is minus 0.02 and the other term we have written as it is in this case this minus and minus get cancelled now by applying log on both the side we will get log of 0 0.02 is somewhere we are getting 4 value and log of e power minus ats is nothing but minus ats so minus 4 with this value and minus ats in this minus minus get cancelled therefore you can see that the settling time is equal to 4 by a so the formulas to be remember here time constant is t is equal to 1 by a rise time tr is equal to 2.2 by a and settling time ts is equal to 4 by a this is the uh, time domain specification for first order let us see one problem we will solve one problem find the step response c of t for the system described by transfer function is equal to 4 divided by s plus 4 also find the time constant rise time and settling time he has given here transfer function that is tf is equal to c of s by r of s that is equal to 4 divided by s plus 4 he is asking to calculate c of t to calculate c of t we need to get first this in the output equation form that is c of s is equal to take this uh, uh, input to the right hand side that is r of s and the transfer function 4 divided by s plus 4 and which you can see that he has asked for the step response and we know for step response it is 1 by s by substituting r of s is equal to 1 by s we will get c of s is equal to 1 by s into 4 by s plus 4 this is he has given 1 by s into 4 by s plus 4 this will be equal to 4 divided by s into s plus 4 by doing partial fraction on this c of s is equal to a divided by s plus b divided by s plus 4 and we know c of s value is 4 divided by s into s plus 4 is equal to a into we will get here s s get cancelled a into s plus 4 plus um, b s divided by we will get s into s plus 4 mm, here left hand side and right hand side term get cancelled we will get equation 4 is equal to a into s plus 4 plus b s so we know that one case we can substitute s is equal to 0 and other case s is equal to minus 4 first we will substitute s is equal to 0 for s is equal to 0 we will get this term 0 this term 0 we will get 4 is equal to a 4 that is nothing but a is equal to 4 by 4 therefore we are getting a is equal to 1 next for b value we will substitute s is equal to minus 4 by substituting minus 4 this term becomes 0 b into minus 4 4 is equal to b into minus 4 which is nothing but uh, um, b is equal to minus 4 by 4 
that is uh, b is equal to minus 1 by substituting this a and b value in this equation we will get c of s is equal to 1 divided by s plus minus 1 divided by s plus 4 by rewriting this equation we will get c of s is equal to 1 by s plus into minus minus 1 by s plus 4 we know the Laplace inverse of this that is what he is asking c of t by applying Laplace inverse to this c of t is equal to 1 by s is 1 minus we know that the Laplace transform Laplace inverse of 1 divided by s plus a is equal to e power minus a t in this case you can see that a value is 4 therefore we can write e power minus 4 t so we got the equation c of t is equal to 1 minus e power minus 4 t next he is cal asking to calculate time constant rise time and settling time we know the formula for time constant is 1 by a rise time formula is 2.2 by a settling time formula is 4 by a by taking these formulas into consideration first one time constant t is equal to 1 by a and we know from the output equation you can see here from the output equation we know a value is 4 by considering this in this formula t is equal to 1 by 4 that means we will get t is equal to 0.25 seconds next rise time we know the formula next rise time we know the formula tr is equal to 2.2 by a where a is 4 2.2 by 4 is somewhere we are getting 0 0.558 seconds that is tr is equal to 0.558 seconds we got the rise time and we know the settling time formula ts is equal to 4 by a and we know the a value 4 by 4 is equal to 1 second ts is equal to 1 second this is the solutions of the given problem hope you understood this video for more such videos like and subscribe my channel thank you